cowboy boots have been kicking around since the 1800s. You can wear them on the ranch or just as a country-style fashion statement. Most cowboy boots are made of cowhide and sell for about $200. For something more exotic, though, how about a pair made of ostrich skin for a mere $500? Production starts with a machine called the clicker that works like a cookie cutter, slicing leather into various sizes of soles from standard to extra wide. The clicker also cuts the other boot parts, such as the shaft, the section above the ankle. This programmable automated stitching machine decorates the shaft with embroidery. The machine works on a dozen boots at a time, using up to 15 different thread colors. Workers steam the shaft to soften up the leather. Synthetics just don't mold to the foot the way animal hides do. So this company uses only the real thing. Python skin, walrus skin, bison skin, even ostrich skin. Cow and pig skin boots make up the bulk of production though, because they're the most affordable. Workers perforate the shaft, then layer a different colored leather underneath to create a design. This company produces 20 basic patterns, but clients can also order custom designs. They line the shaft with pigskin because it breeds better than a synthetic lining. Workers stitch together the shaft sections, including the underlays, from the inside out. Piping covers the seams. A roller turns the whole thing right side out, flattening the piping for a more comfortable fit. The next machine glues a cotton strip to the leather insole. They'll later attach this strip to the foot section of the boot. Next, they temporarily attach the sole to a plastic mold called a boot last. This makes the sole rigid while they attach other parts of the boot. They glue a hard synthetic cup to the heel section to give it the desired shape. Then they apply a fibrous cotton form between the layers that will shape the toe area. Now they attach the sole to the shaft. Using a laser as a centering guide, they stretch the toe section over the boot last, bringing the two largest pieces of the boot together. They stitch on a leather strip to attach the sections. The strip, called a welt, is a traditional part of boot making. It's what makes the boot very durable. They attach a steel shank for arch support, then apply a mixture of granulated cork and hot glue. This layer will make the boot conform to the contours of the wearer's foot. They attach the sole to the shaft with industrial strength glue. The fact that it's glued as well as stitched means you can simply rip out and replace a worn sole. This feature greatly extends the life of the boot. A cutting machine trims off the excess leather. Then they stitch the sole to the welt. They stitch using interlacing threads. This binds the pieces even more strongly. The final layer of the sole can be either leather or rubber. It all depends on who'll be wearing the boots and where. A rancher in sunny Texas may prefer leather, but in the cold and snow, you're better off with rubber. Now for the heel. They load a driving machine with nails. The pattern varies according to the type of heel. This company produces eight heel styles. A laser guide ensures they nail the heel to the boot perfectly centered. With a brush, they coat both the heel and the edge of the sole in black or mahogany dye. Finally, they brand the manufacturer's name in gold foil. Some boots have pull holes at the top for getting your boots on fast to make it to the rodeo on time.